Uh, hi, you, Officer Dibble. Uh, look till you see. How many times do I have to tell you to keep this alley cleaned up? I think I'll just run you in for littering. And don't give me any of your wild excuses. Well, go ahead, say something. Let's hear the alibi this time. I bet it's a beaut. No, nope, no alibi this time, officer. None at all. No, that's much better. That's what I like to hear. What do you mean, no alibi? Just that, sir, no alibi whatsoever. I'll go quietly, just put on the handcuffs. Maybe you've been too busy going to meetings with the mayor, is that it? No, I don't even know the mayor. I get it. Your old war wound is bothering you. That bit of jury lead you picked up rescuing General Patton. Nope. Your maid went back to England to work in a palace? No, I have no excuses at all. With Benny in the hospital, I just haven't been able to concentrate. Benny's in a hospital? Mm, I was just leaving to visit him. I had made some nourishing soup, but now I, I shall have to serve out my prison incarceration first before my mission of mercy. I had no idea. On the summons just right, unable to comply because his thoughts were with a loved one. You're on your way over there now? Go ahead, but clean up around here as soon as you can. I never thought I'd see the day. Top cat with no alibi at all. Admitted he was wrong, so I was free to make the arrest. And... But if he didn't have an alibi, how come I let him get away with it? How did it happen this time? How? <laughs>